You guys are so serious in the... Oh, hello! Uh, well, welcome to Mostra's Instagram. Uh, since we're in quarantine season right now, we figured that we'd show you a couple different brew methods to play around with and spice up your life so you don't go stir crazy. Stir crazy? Yeah, stir crazy. Don't touch your face like I just did, though. So today, we're going to do a flash brew for you. Now, I'm going to be using a Hario V60 with a, a white paper filter. You can use any, you can use a Chemex to do this or anything else. But the idea is that we're going to flash chill a cold brew uh, a, a hot pour over into a cold brew. The idea to try to capture some of the volatile aromatics in there. Uh, but also since we're going to be brewing directly onto the ice, the coffee is going to cool much quicker than if you put a whole bunch of coffee onto ice at once. Just trust me. We'll go ahead and get started and we'll see what I'm talking about. So even though our end product is going to be chilled. We're going to start it off just like we would for a hot pour over. Uh, so rinsing our paper filter, make sure it's saturated and get some of that papery taste off. I may have already done that before the video started. And get our dose in here. We're going with a large dose relative to the amount of coffee we're going to be brewing because part of our dose is going to uh, make up for the fact that our grind is extremely fine for the amount of brew liquid that we're using. I have 175 grams of ice in there and I'm going to be pouring 300 grams of hot water over the coffee. So we're really going to go for a high TDS cut, total dissolved solids and uh, a very uh, compact extraction of the coffee to have a lot of flavors balanced in a small amount so that when it gets diluted it's similar to a bypass brew that you do on a larger batch brewer or you know you probably wouldn't do at home because we don't have large batch brewers at home so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our bloom here I usually like to bloom with about twice as much water as I have in there to amplify the sweetness I'm not afraid of agitation. Um, with this, you're using so much coffee that I do recommend giving a slight stir as well as a little bit of a swirl. I'm a big fan of the swirl nowadays. And then we're gonna go into our brewing. We're gonna pour about 75 gram increments. Gonna do like one circle or two to make sure that we're saturating all of our grounds and then mostly pouring in the middle. Pouring in the middle is going to help the water really push through your brew slurry and that's going to allow your extraction to stay clean without getting too bitter or over extracted. Uh, as we're doing this you can kind of see that it's hitting some of my big rock ice cubes in there. Uh, well they're not as big as the ice cube tray can hold but part of the fun with this is just experimenting with different ratios, different brew methods, or I'm sorry, different ratios, different shapes of ice rather is what we're looking for when we're playing around with some of this. I'm just kind of getting it going here making sure that we're getting on that ice. Give it a little shuffle duffle to make sure we're still hitting that. And we're almost there. Um, and then our water tower kicks on for some nice ambient sound. Uh, you can really do this with any type of coffee. Uh, I've had a lot of coffee today. I usually have a lot of coffee by the time it's 5 p.m. Uh, what we're using right now is our Philippine Sitio Blis, a real staple around Mostra. It's a lighter roast coffee. It's not something you would necessarily think of as a cold brew coffee. That's not something, for instance, when we're brewing our big batches of uh, Brazil on our uh, delicious making brew bomb that we have, uh, it's not really going to be something that we're looking for to the public. But again, playing around is the idea of this little series of vignettes that we're putting together for you. Uh, experimenting with different coffees, experimenting, playing around with different filters or, you know, like I said, even different shapes of ice in there. Just kind of keep yourself amused and uh, not stir crazy. <laughs> 